yourself. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, 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 welcome to The Tonight Show. You're here, you're made it, you're watching. Thank you, I appreciate it. Uh, well, guys, this weekend was President Biden's birthday, and uh, he's the first president to turn 79 while in office. Biden spent his birthday in Wilmington, Delaware, and went to a 5 o'clock mass. Man, does this guy know how to party or what? I mean, this... <laughs> even Mike Pence was like, ever heard of Chuck E. Cheese? Was, uh... <laughs> you could tell Biden's 79, because when he blew out his candles, everyone started clapping and the lights went on and off. <laughs> yeah, it was Biden's 79th birthday, and he heard from a lot of different people. Uh, here, check out some of the texts he got. First from Vladimir Putin. He texted, I sent you edible arrangement. No need to send thank you note. Just speak clearly into pineapple. <laughs> then Barack Obama texted, Happy birthday, Joe. Ever wonder how the hell I'm retired and you're not? <laughs> Next up, Kim Jong-un texted, Happy birthday. Stop. I'm sending this via telegram. Stop. Hope you good. Stop. <laughs> oh, telegram. Even Donald Trump texted. He texted, Joe Biden's a total and utter failure. Wanted to tweet this, but can't. <laughs> can't do it. <laughs> Next up, Pope Francis texted, hope you had a blessed birthday, but if I'm being honest, this weekend belongs to Adele. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> Respect, Adele. And finally, Queen Elizabeth texted, Yo, not sure if you know how to text, but just wanted to holla at my boy to say HBD. Stay Gucci, fam. <laughs> hey, that's nice. yeah. And get this, guys. Uh, Tiffany's just revealed its most expensive diamond. It's called the Empire Diamond, and it costs about $30 million. So this holiday season, give your loved one the ultimate Christmas experience, getting robbed. Uh, that's right, a $30 million diamond. Meanwhile, all the $20 million diamonds are now part of Tiffany's cheap bastard collection. <laughs> <laughs> but if your budget's a little smaller than that, I have good news. Hungry Man and Coors Light have teamed up oh. this holiday season to offer a special Hungry Beer Man meal. Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> It's the meal that says, tell me you're recently single without telling me you're recently single. <laughs> Imagine driving four hours on Thursday, and when you get there, your grandma starts passing these out. <laughs> uh, well, according to a new survey, most parents said that they would happily pay less for knockoff toys this holiday season than pay for the originals. And luckily, luckily if, you're, if you're looking for some knockoff toys, there are plenty to choose from. Uh, for example, instead of My Little Pony, you can get Horses on Acid. <laughs> Next up, instead of Rock'em Sock'em Robots, they have Frontier Flight Attendants. <laughs> and finally, instead of Lego, you can get Foot Impalers. Oh, that's <laughs> just as good. Knock-off toys, are, they're cheaper, they work. And finally, this went viral on TikTok. It made me laugh. Uh, while uh, hanging Christmas lights, and it's like a, one of those special uh, inflatable Santa things, the, the husband forgot to zip-tie the Santa's hand to make it look like he's waving. So instead... Looks like he's doing something. Watch this. Take a look at this. Oh, wow. oh no. Oh no. Oh. Yes. It, it was at the stroke of midnight <laughs> when Santa finally arrived. If you like that video, you can see more of it on Only Santas. Today, nominations were announced for the 64th Annual Grammy Awards. That's right. Both Billie Eilish and her brother Phineas were nominated. <laughs> so, I just want to say good luck to their cousins talking about their jobs at Thanksgiving. <laughs> uh, Olivia Rodrigo's driver's license was nominated. That, that's how you know it's been a long 2021. People are thinking, that came out this year? <laughs> yeah, the Grammys will be on CBS, which means the only nominee that viewers will be familiar with is ABBA. 
I'm with it. I love that. Well, uh, earlier tonight, President Biden and the First Lady arrived in Nantucket, where they'll spend Thanksgiving. And that's how bad Thanksgiving traffic is. Even the president has to leave two days early. <laughs> Good luck to us. Yeah, once Biden left for Thanksgiving, the Secret Service was like, human tryptophan is on the move. <laughs> when Biden asked Obama if Martha's Vineyard would be nice for Thanksgiving, Obama was like, uh, you should check out Nantucket. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling uh, Biden's the only person who says, I once knew a man from Nantucket, and then tells, <laughs> then tells an actual story about that man. <laughs> he was a longshoreman <laughs> named Gary Finster. <laughs> but this is nice. Before they left for Nantucket, First Lady Joe Biden received the White House Christmas tree. Take a look at this. Yeah. Look how beautiful this is. Lady. It's beautiful. Yeah, you, you know gas prices are out of control when they're sending things to the White House via horse and carriage. <laughs> Come on, in. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. <laughs> we did, that was amazing improvisational skills on all of our part. You were doing... Oh, yeah. Come on, buddy. Come here now. Meanwhile, Trump was uh, hiding in the branches like a Trojan horse waiting to sneak back inside the White House. <laughs> Speaking of Trump, uh, I saw that over the weekend at Mar-a-Lago, he received his honorary ninth degree black belt in Taekwondo. <laughs> this is real. Take a look. Here he is. <laughs> <laughs> Tying that around Trump must have been like tying a giant red bow around an Lexus. You know, have you ever seen those commercials? It was the first time they had to cut a few extra holes in a Taekwondo belt. <laughs> yeah, Trump is big into martial arts. He's even starring in the new movie, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Tax Returns. <laughs> Whoa! Well, this went viral last night. The Washington Wizards played the Charlotte Hornets, but all anyone could talk about was Wizards star Kyle Kuzma's pregame outfit. Watch this. <laughs> wow. What? It looks like a rejected character from Yo Gabba Gabba. <laughs> it looks like someone who said, I, I don't need to try it on, I'll just buy it. Meanwhile, Lenny Kravitz's scarf saw that and was like, well, hello. <laughs> hello there. Oh. Hi. <laughs> and finally, I saw that a very unique Christmas tree display has returned to a mall in Canada. Some people think it's cute, while others think it's a little creepy. Here, check it out. Now we know what the Christmas episode of Squid Game will look like. Well, guys, tomorrow is Thanksgiving. That's right. Thanksgiving, it's the day that you forget about all the fighting and division in the world and just focus on all the fighting and division in your family. That's right. Since it's the night before Thanksgiving, lots of Americans are getting their antibodies checked to see if they could fight off Aunt Rita's mystery casserole. I'm actually hosting Thanksgiving. Uh, my favorite part is guessing which relative is going to get the one chair that's shorter than all the others. <laughs> Can someone please pass the... <laughs> of course, uh, lots of people will be making turkey while others will be cooking a turducken. Uh, you know, a, a turducken. It's a coronary inside a stroke inside a heart attack. <laughs> uh, I read that the night before Thanksgiving is one of the biggest drinking nights of the year because... So many people go to their hometown bars to see old friends. And I think the bars know this. I mean, just take a look at some of the signs I saw they put outside. This one says, come in and check out who gained a ton of weight since high school. <laughs> That's not, I mean, look at this one. It said, remind the one that got away why she got away. <laughs> <laughs> and 
next up there's remember your math teacher? Well, he's a bartender now. Let's see if we can politely find out why. <laughs> and finally, there's what goes better with turkey than burping up fireball whiskey. There you go. That's... I want to say hi to all my friends at the exchange right now. Hi. Uh, hey, did you guys see this? Uh, Tom Brady said that Thanksgiving is the one day of the year where he says, screw it and eats just like everyone else. Yeah, and apparently the meal really takes a toll on uh, Tom Brady. Here he is before Thanksgiving, and uh, here he is after Thanksgiving. It's just, <laughs> you just gotta be careful, you know? A lot of inflammation. Yeah. <laughs> Some business news. The CEO of Ocean Spray said that due to a canned shortage from supply chain issues, people who want cranberry sauce might have to use fresh cranberries. Mm. I'm pretty sure this is the first supply chain issue where everyone thought, good. <laughs> Uh, of course, Thanksgiving isn't just about food. It's all about posting pictures of your food on social media. Uh, but there's some important things to know about posting your Thanksgiving plate, so I wrote a tiny song about it. PSA Thanksgiving food doesn't photograph too good. It just looks like a big old pile of beige. I'm sure your dinner tasted great, but that tan rainbow on your plate's not showing up on no one's for you page. <laughs> Mystery scoops of brown and white, gravy filmed by candlelight. Ain't the look that home cooking deserves. Hashtag dinner, hashtag snacky. All looks like you serve wet khakis. <laughs> Bowls of soggy burlap for dessert. So PSA Thanksgiving food doesn't photograph too good. In worst case scenarios looks gross. Just take a picture with your fam or your friends together, not of ham. That's why your mom told you to wear nice clothes. <laughs> Well, well I, I read that Russia is demanding that by next year, large U.S. tech companies like Facebook opens up offices in their country. Yep, Facebook inside Russia. It's like a <laughs> fake news turducken. <laughs> yep, soon Putin will be like, oh no, the spying is coming from inside the house. <laughs> Uh, this is cool, though. Uh, Disney just announced that next year they're introducing their very own Hey Disney voice assistant at Disneyland. Well, not to be outdone, another amusement park is rolling out something similar. Take a look at this. At Busch Gardens, we're proud to introduce our innovative new voice assistant. Get all the information you need by simply saying things like, Hey, Busch Gardens, what's the weather? How the hell should I know? Hey, Busch Gardens, what should I bring to the park? Two flasks and a vape pen. <laughs> and, hey, Busch Gardens, what should I do next? Try not to die. Busch Gardens, just like Disney, if you drink enough. Hey, hey. Some movie news uh, today. House of Gucci, starring Lady Gaga and Adam Driver, finally hit theaters. Yep. Tickets to House of Gucci are $18, but if you go to Times Square, you can find a knockoff for $10. <laughs> House of Gucci. And get this, actor uh, Steve Burton was fired from the soap opera General Hospital because he refused to get vaccinated. Yep, they kept showing him evidence the vaccine was safe, but he had amnesia. <laughs> yeah, wow. Sorry. When he found out he was fired, Burton went up to the producer, threw a drink in his face, slapped him, and yelled, I'll always love you, then stormed out. <laughs> Hey, I heard about a woman in Canada who ordered a toy for her granddaughter, but it turned out it wasn't very child-friendly. Look at this. Anya Tanner wanted to buy an educational toy for her granddaughter and found this dancing cactus on Walmart's website. When it arrived, she decided to listen to the songs, one in English, Spanish, and Polish. It just happens that I'm Polish. And when I start listening to the song and I heard the words, it's about taking five grams of cocaine and being alone. Her granddaughter, was like, her granddaughter was like, yeah, I'm really disappointed I won't get a Polish cactus for Christmas. 
Has this woman ever heard of the toy store? Target? Go to Target. Can we see that cactus toy again? I think we could have guessed he was on cocaine, don't you think? Finally, a truck carrying $400,000 worth of Jack Daniels overturned on a Tennessee highway, spilled whiskey all over the road. After it happened, officials didn't know whether to clean it up or tip over a truck carrying Coca-Cola. I want to wish everyone a very happy Thanksgiving. Uh... Uh, I didn't miss celebrating over Zoom, uh, but I definitely missed that mute button. Uh, yeah, the holiday is pretty much over, which means right now everyone's back with their immediate family, talking smack about everyone else. <laughs> On Thanksgiving, there are always two kinds of families, the one that wakes up early to run a 5K and the one that stays up late to reheat all the food they just put away. It's like, all right, <laughs> who's hungry? Let's make some sandwiches. Come on! I read that more than half of all people said that they were exercising in the weeks leading up to Thanksgiving. You know, it might be time to cut back when we're all training for a meal, don't you feel? <laughs> yeah, the first Thanksgiving was celebrated 400 years ago in 1621. That's right. That was the... That was the first time someone finished eating, then looked at their spouse like, when are they gonna leave? <laughs> but I hope everyone had a nice Thanksgiving. It was a fun day of trying to figure out... Uh, I hope you had fun. Yeah, it was a fun day of trying to figure out if Uncle Ralph's vaccinated without actually asking if he's vaccinated. <laughs> How you doing, Uncle Ralph? Is a Band-Aid on your shoulder? <laughs> Second shot hurt worse than the first one? <laughs> Third one? That's right, people took vaccination status very seriously. Uh, though I thought it was weird to see a bouncer outside Grandma's house. <laughs> ID and vax card? <laughs> you can go see Nona. Of course, a lot of people like to drink wine on Thanksgiving. I love how, uh... I love how my aunt puts away three glasses and says, boy, that turkey really makes you sleepy. <laughs> yep, 63% of people drink wine, 19% drink beer, and 10% drink liquor. While the other 8% mix all that together and wake up on Christmas. <laughs> They're here in the audience tonight. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and in the band. Wow. Uh, this year, as always, the food people feared to cook the most was the turkey. If you take it out too late, it's dry. If you take it out too early, you gotta rub it down with Purell. Yeah. <laughs> Turkeys are always scary to cook, especially if you deep fry it. The only thing more dangerous uh, than your dad saying, I'm gonna go deep fry the turkey, is him saying, I'm gonna go uh, knock the icicles off the gutters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. <laughs> Actually, I read that tofu turkeys went up in sales this year. It's a little different. Instead of uh, people saying uh, white or dark meat, they go gray or slightly grayer meat. <laughs> Meanwhile, I read that most Americans prefer Thanksgiving leftovers to the actual dinner. When asked why, they said, because I get to eat it alone over the sink. <laughs> <But yeah. laughs> That's the best. Come on. I read that air travel this week was expected to nearly reach pre-pandemic levels to accommodate all of the extra passengers. Delta and American added flights, while Spirit added another row of folding chairs to the wings. <laughs> That's right, a lot of people were traveling for the first time in over a year, so things were a little hectic. Uh, here, check out this news story I saw about it. Many are traveling for the first time since 2019, so expect to deal with all sorts of people at the airport, including the person in the TSA line who has apparently never taken their shoes off in their life, the people in Zone 17 who stand in the way while everyone else is boarding, the person chugging a gallon of Aquafina because they didn't realize it counted as a liquid, people who don't have their boarding pass handy even though they just spent half an hour in line being told to have it handy, and of course, the hardest thing to deal with, Babies. Yeah, that's right, yeah. It's, uh... <clears throat> and finally, what is Thanksgiving without football? Am I right? <laughs> Earlier tonight, the Buffalo Bills faced off against the New Orleans Saints. Now, as you know, at the end of every season, they give out awards like most valuable player, but they also give out awards during the season. I'll show you what I mean. It's time for tonight's show, Superlative. <laughs> Our first player is from the Bills. It's A.J. Klein. 
He was voted most likely to appear in your driveway when there's a flash of lightning. <laughs> Next from the Bills, Harrison Phillips. He was voted world's strongest cabbage patch kid. <laughs> Next up from the Bills is Tyler Matakevich. He was voted most likely to scream class of 08 forever and then completely <laughs> missed the pool he was trying to jump into. What? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Next up from the Bills is Tommy Doyle. He was voted most likely to rip his Peloton off the hinges so he can ride it around the neighborhood. <laughs> This bike sucks! <laughs> Next up from the Saints is Christian Ringo. He was voted most likely to have a rival named Jewish McCartney. <laughs> Don't... <laughs> Don't blame me, he broke up the team. <laughs> Next up from the Bills is Matt Milano. He was voted most likely to be watching the game at Thanksgiving dinner, then realize he's supposed to be there. <laughs> And finally, from the Saints is Ryan Ramchek. He was voted most likely to eat every food like it's corn on the cob. There you have it. Hey, hey.